Hello, my name is Sebastian Tamburino, and I'm going to be presenting you with an electroscope for my science fair project. I'm going to be utilizing two conductors. One is a PVC pipe with a microfiber cloth to transfer the electrons from the microfiber cloth onto the PVC pipe here. And then subsequently placing the PVC pipe right here to see if there's an electrostatic charge. And then my, my second conductor of electricity is a balloon here. So once I place this balloon tangible to my hair, I'm going to be transferring electrons from my hair to the balloon. Once they're on the balloon, I can transfer the electrons onto the um, surface area of this copper wire here. My question is, if the PVC pipe would have relatively more transfer than the balloon would, or vice versa, essentially. Um, I'm going to be diagramming a model here and showing you how it operates, and then we'll go into the depths of the experiment. All right, so I'm going to be drawing a simplistic diagram here of a, an electroscope. So here's my copper wire, here's the enclosed system. The copper wire comes down with a significant hook on the end with the aluminium leaves that separate initially. Um, so the electroscope is predominantly a device we utilize in physics to visualize electrical charge or demonstrate electrical charge. Um, it's been utilized since the 1600s, and um, so if we're considering this electroscope as being neutral, which it is, it's already at neutralization, um, so essentially what that means is that the protons and the electrons are roughly equivalent in the system itself here. So that means that if we apply a frictional force onto a PVC pipe, which will contain electrons after we apply the microfiber cloth onto the PVC pipe. Considering that there's already electrons on the surface area of the copper wire or in the system itself, if we place this PVC pipe tangible to the copper wire here, the electrons would have a tremendous amount of repulsion because the same charges, they're going to repel each other. Um, just the opposite there. So they're going to repel all the way down the coil here into the aluminum leads, which already contain electrons. So consequently, considering that they already contain electrons, they're going to essentially separate. Ultimately, that's how we would uh, visualize electrical charge or demonstrate electrical charge. Uh, my hypothesis, however, is that the PVC pipe um, will actually, could potentially exert relatively more force or I should say trans uh, electron transfer into the isolated system here because if I can I can actually exert relatively more force onto the PVC pipe with the microfiber cloth instead of the balloon. That is my hypothesis and we'll demonstrate the experiment now. All right, so I'm going to be applying a frictional force on the microfiber, on the PVC pipe from the microfiber cloth now. I'm gonna make this, the electron transfer to occur. So as you can see here, we have the aluminum leaves. It's currently neutralized the system. So if I place the PVC pipe close to the copper wire here, it should excite the aluminum, which we see there. So electrons are being, are infiltrating through this copper wire down into the aluminum here, as we saw in my um, whiteboard there. So now if we make this PVC pipe, pipe tangible, to the, to the uh, copper, now let's see, they, it keeps, they're, they're separated currently. So that means that this is now negatively charged, the electroscope. However, if I place my finger on this copper wire, I'm gonna be transferring protons now. And now they close back together. So now it's neutralized. So let's try that once again for my PVC pipe. Tremendous amount of charge there. You can actually hear it partially. Now let's demonstrate the balloon and see if my hypothesis was correct or not. Transfer electrons from my hair on the balloon. I have relatively the same almost. Try again there. But I think the PVC pipe dominates the balloon here with the electron transfer. Try the PVC pipe once again. Yes, definitely. I 
believe my hypothesis was correct on that. There's relatively more separation with those leaves there. All right. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you.